Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Google Nexus 9 tablet, which is one of the first devices to ship with Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's also one of the first devices with an NVIDIA Tegra K1 64-bit processor. And so uh, it's relatively easy to unlock the bootloader. Google makes it easy to do that. But uh, if you want to root it, you have to go through some extra steps. Uh, this might get easier further on, but now that this is shipping, a uh, developer uh, that goes by the name of Chainfire has been one of the first people to figure out how to root the device using a 64-bit uh, optimized Super SU. Um, now the first thing that you might have to do is go into Settings, go to About Tablet, click on the build number repeatedly until you get a message saying that you're a developer. I don't need to do that because I'm already a developer. And then you get Developer Options. In Developer Options, scroll down to see Enable OEM Unlock and make sure that that is checked. Um, out of the box, for some reason, this demo unit that was sent to me by Google was already bootloader or unlocked, so I don't think I'm going to need to go through that step. But uh, if I run into trouble, it's uh, good to know that that's how you do it. Um, so the first few steps here, we're actually going to sort of skip past. Um, but basically, if you have the Android SDK installed or ADB and Fastboot on your computer, what you would do is uh, download Chainfire's uh, Super SU tool, and then open a command prompt, and push the files to your device. So uh, first thing we're going to do is reboot into the bootloader. By typing adb reboot bootloader. And you can see the device actually turns off. And reboots right into the bootloader there. Now from here, if you had to unlock the bootloader, you would type Fastboot OEM Unlock. Since mine's already unlocked, and since I don't want to go through and relock it and unlock it and wipe everything on the device, we're going to go ahead and skip to the next section. Um, again, unlocking your bootloader will wipe all the data from your device, so make sure that you back anything up that you need to back up first. And we're going to type Fastboot, whoops, we're going to type it into the terminal window, not the uh, notepad window here. Fastboot Boot Inject IMG. Okay, so I went ahead and sent that file over. And now we're going to type fastboot flash boot patched img. And it's finished. And that's it. So we can either Press the power button to reboot, or just type ADB, again in the command window, ADB, uh, actually I think we need to do a fast boot reboot, reboot, there we go. If this works properly, we should see that the super SU file has been installed. And again, because it's sort of early days, I'm recording this video on November 5th, 2014, uh, there are some applications that require root which might not work, uh, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. So I uh, can't guarantee that every application that you've wanted to use is going to work. Um, for instance, uh, Exposed Framework probably isn't going to work because that hasn't really been updated yet. Um, but, you know, anything else I say here might be wrong by the time you watch the video if you're not watching it right away. So I'm going to stop talking and go in here. And we've got a Super SU. And just for kicks, let's see if we can get Root Checker to work. There we go, we have root access. So that is uh, pretty much all you need to know to use Chainfire's Super SU root method for rooting a Google Nexus 9. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, like I said, the only step that I skipped here was the step that would be involved in 
uh, unlocking the bootloader. But that's as simple as just typing fastboot OEM unlock, waiting for your device to reboot, and then following the rest of the steps. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.